Hi friends, Justin Hibbert here, host of the Why Catholic Podcast, with another frequently asked Catholic question, which I try to answer in about five minutes or less. Today's Catholic question is, why do Catholics believe that Mary is without sin? So the short answer is that the Bible tells us. Now, there's probably a lot of you that are like, wait, where in the Bible does it say Mary is without sin or Mary never sinned? Well, We need to go into scripture and dig a little and go into the Greek. And we need to start with Luke chapter 1, verse 28. This is the Annunciation where Gabriel tells Mary that she's going to have a baby even though she's a virgin. She's going to have a baby named Jesus. He's going to be the savior of the world. But his greeting to Mary is very unique, and we should not look over this word. He, In the Greek, he calls her kekeratomene, kekeratomene. It's the only time in scripture that this word is used. Now, if you're reading the King James Version, it says highly favored one, which I think is probably the most anemic translation of that word possible. And the Catholic version of this is we say it's full of grace. That's what it means. That's why we say the Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace. These are the opening words from Gabriel's greeting to Mary. Now, how do we know that it means full of grace? Well, the reason is because there's a related word that's only used once in scripture. It's used in Ephesians 1 verse 6, and it's a related word. It's kerito. Now, Ephesians 1 is one of my favorite passages of scripture. It's this long run-on sentence that tells us everything that we have in Christ. So let me read that to you. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In verse six, this is where we find this word kerato, this glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. Now, there are other translations that kind of vary pretty differently because again, this is the only time this word is used in scripture. One of them says that he has made us acceptable to him. Well, what does it mean to be made acceptable to God? It means that our sins have been washed away right? You can't enter God's presence. We're not acceptable to God with sin. It's when our sins are washed away that we are acceptable to God. So it stands to reason that Gabriel's greeting to Mary full of grace means that she was without sin. Now, what's so beautiful about this is that we receive this after Jesus's death, his resurrection, his ascension, our faith in him, and we receive that grace. Mary receives that before Jesus is even born. And she walks into it in faith. Now, there's a couple objections to this. Number one, people would say, well, can God do this? Hopefully, the answer to that question is yes. He has created beings without original sins. All the angels, Adam, Eve, Jesus. It stands to reason that he could also create Mary without original sin as well. Now, the second objection is common among Protestants when dealing with Mary, that somehow our elevation of Mary uh, takes away from Jesus. But actually, I think it's the opposite because everything we believe about Mary comes from what we believe about Jesus. And we believe that Jesus was without sin. So he was so without sin that if there was someone he wanted to protect to be without sin, it would be his mother. The very vessel that carried the Messiah, wouldn't it make sense that she would be without sin and that God would give her that grace? You know, this does not negate Mary's need for a savior. It's not that she's saved on her own merits. But rather, this is something God does for her. And what's so beautiful about this is that Mary becomes the example for us because this is what God can do for us. He makes us full of grace. He can forgive our sins and wash us anew and make us acceptable to God. And we, like Mary, can say yes to the Lord. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and check out the description where I have links to the Why Catholic podcast. God bless you.